What's up, everybody? This is Mighty Pete, and I'm here with my boy, Ali Moore. Today, we're here to discuss the trailer for Metal Gear to Survive. Worst title ever. This is so fucking bland, so fucking generic. It can be put anything simpler. It's just called it fucking Metal Gear to Kill Zombies. I don't know. It fucking sucks. I, I think Survive, honestly, just, just brings, brings a tone. Like of what you're doing, but it just sounds so basic. It's yeah. like it's like with Metal Gear, you you're always hearing something crazy like Ground Zero, Phantom Pain, Snake Eater. Cool, it's, it's, cool title. Yeah, it, it always cool. has something something extra in the title that makes you makes you think that there's something epic about it happening. And this one just said survive. Like there you go. <laughs> so basically, this trailer starts off. Right after the scenes in Metal Gear Solid 5 from Ground Zero, from when Mother Brace has been uh, basically blown up and been been abused. And it's been fucking abused. I mean, they fucking took one of the lens off, the fucking shit's caving in. They, they might as well have filed a police report. So, anyway, the, bil- the, the base itself is in flames. The two main characters, Snake and Miller, getting into a helicopter and they're escaping. Meanwhile, the soldiers that were recruited by Snake that have been left behind, they're still alive and they're witnessing the events unfold. Basically, there's a, there's a dimensional rift opening up. The it's fucking retarded. Exactly. And the fucking base itself is being sucked into it. You know, I thought that the base was falling in the water, but then I watched the video again and I'm like, no, they're getting sucked into the sky. I was like, wow, this is ridiculous. The mother base is getting sucked into a dimension. So are the soldiers. Some of the soldiers actually do survive the fall. I don't know how. <laughs> the debris is falling all over the place, and apparently there's this new enemy that has some crystal-shaped item in their zombies. face. They're fucking zombies. It's, it's, zombies with lipstick on. Exactly. It's a, it's, it's a fucking insult. They, they shove a rock into the guy's face, and they say, No, it's not a zombie. Yeah. It's something. Yeah, I would think that every game company would know that zombies have been done to death already. Why do they continue to shove zombies down our throat? And, Why, and to top man? it off, it's Metal Gear, so it's like... They even had zombies in Metal Gear um, Phantom Pain. They pretty much had zombies in that shit too. Like, how are you so force-feeding us to the zombie boys? Exactly. Bonkers, man. It's fucking bonkers. So anyway, the, the, this guy picks up a, his pistol, misses every shot, but the pipe works. Oh yeah, pipe works. Pipe is apparently God's man-made tool to resolve man's every single conflict. You know what I'm saying? You should go to North Korea. Just hang on. Just hang on. It reminds me a lot of, of, of Metal Gear 7. Metal Gear. The game reminds me a lot of, of when um, you know Capcom made those spin-offs for Resident Evil. Um, Raccoon City and Operation uh, Umbrella Chronicles or whatever it's called. Whatever, those umbrella shooting games. They're nothing like Resident Evil, but they're just shoot 'em ups. Pretty much first person shooters that you know supposed to attract that uh, Call of Duty audience. This is what this game looks like to me. You know how Call of Duty has zombie mode. I feel like this is just gonna be one of those. This is gonna be Metal Gear zombie. Mode. You know, full player co-op. Shoot the shit out of everything you see. Pretty much no stealth. Pretty much not Metal Gear. That's what I, I mean, think. To me, this game honestly looks like Left 4 Dead. It's basically you pick one of the four characters. Pretty much and, what uh, this thing is. Yeah. Zombie yeah. You pick one of the four characters, and you basically you're trying to find a way back, back to Mother Base, in hopes of an explanation to fucking get back to your original dimension. This shit is too fucked up. And from the looks of it, one guy has an actual working gun. The other one has a bow. The other one has a pipe, and the other one has a spear. So I'm saying to myself, this is this is already looking retarded to me. It's, it's you're. You're diverting from the key aspects of what the game is, which is stealth and being tactical, and you're basically doing your own thing. Now, it's, it's like you basically took the title and you just ripped its heart out and put it in your heart. And that is just no way, uh, that's no way that you can consider this being a good game. Honestly, I, I haven't, I haven't played all the Metal Gears, obviously, except for the ones that were made. MSX, because I was in it. Um, they came out in America. They did. Yes. No, 
better your solid three subsistence you can play. Oh well, there you go. Well, I haven't played. That. <laughs> so having having played the majority of them, all right, I'm, I'm not gonna buy this one. I'm not. I'm just gonna fucking play right off the bat. Right, what, right off the bat, I'm gonna keep my six dollars. Fuck that. I'm not gonna buy. It. Even the last time that Konami made a Metal Gear Solid without the they made those those American versions of Metal Gear Solid One and Two. It was an atrocity. It was. A, it was it was never gonna be as good as the original version. Exactly. And with this version, it looks like it's amazing. But the one thing that makes me extremely happy about this is the fact that they didn't use Snake as the main character or any of the Metal Gear characters. In the game. Because I feel like, you know, Kanu Kojima's legacy shouldn't be disturbed. I'm happy that they left Snake, and Miller, and all the other clones, <laughs> millions of them, and then we see Wolf and Ninjas. I'm happy that they're all out of it. Just let this exist in the Metal Gear universe, but, but don't disturb what's already been created or try to wreck on stuff and add to it because leave that alone. I mean, in my opinion, the legacy is being touched regardless because you're, the minute you touch the name Metal Gear, that is in that sense his legacy. It's not just a character, it's the game itself. So, like I said before, the milking of an entire franchise, which I hope that's not it's not what its future is going to become like halo call of duty battlefield these games honestly they had a good they had a good startup but then they just needed to end they needed that ending and they just didn't give it to them sadly i remember in an interview for snake's revenge for the msx the guy actually ran into um hyder kojima on a snake's revenge for Kyoko Jima made those. No. Other, another company made the American version, which is where Snake Revenge is on. No, Snake see, Revenge is on anyways. No, the first the first one. He made the first one. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. He made the first one and then they, they fired him. Somebody fact check him in the comments. They, they fired fact him. Fact check him in the comments. They fired him and then the second one that, that they made was without Haido Kojima and then that guy said he fucked up. And then he found him in the subway and then he brought his ass back and they remade part two. Alright. Let's see. I'm not I'm not arguing that, that didn't happen. I'm saying the systems you said it was for. Like, oh, NES now. What do you guys think? Do you think Metal Gear Solid is dead without Hale Kojima at the helm? You think Konami should just leave it alone, leave it untouched? Pretty much. <laughs> Sound off in the comments, tell us what you think. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Villain Games, alright? See you next time, villains.